In this video we can make some modifications in this folder. So there will be two copies of this. They are a little bit different. So we can use this copy. Maybe we have to exit that one. Okay, so now we can copy this folder. And I'm gonna rename it like this. And I will remove that. From here. And I can save this now. And this copy is just a little bit different. So we have to change the size of this. So we can go here and edit sketch. So in this, they are six millimeters. Like that. And then we could also add, so there is this threads inserted here, so we can add them already in this design. By pressing shift we can select multiple of this. Now I'm gonna extrude this so it's 8 millimeters, and I'm gonna use this new body tool. Okay. And the color of this, it's brass, so we can select it here and then drag it there. And if we want, we can also add this thread into this, but it doesn't matter because it's just for details. But we can add it from here. And we can even use this model tool. And then if we press right mouse and we drag like this, we can use this previous tool. So that's hot key for that. So now we have these threads inserted here. And we can save this. Then we can go back to this. And we will drag this new folder here. And we can use this join tool again. So it's this one. And as we see here, we have this threads. And now we can create this bolts from here to there. So we can measure this distance. So it's 55. So we can create bolt that is 55 millimeters. I'm gonna just create some single bolt now. So this can be like 4 and then we can extrude this. So it was 55. And if we want we can add some details here. So if it is hexagon we can create it from here. I don't remember this correct length, but we can use this 4 millimeters for this. And we can basically just extrude this, something like that. And I'm gonna add some chamfer here. And then we can even add a thread here if we want. 
Uh, but before that we can add some color for that. So let's say it's black coating oxide bolt. So we can do that. And now we can use this thread tool. Like that. And we can save this. So let's say it's bolt M4. 65. Then we can go to this and we can drag this new bolt here. I'm gonna move it there so it's easier. And now we can place bolts here by using joint tool. So we press G and then we select this center of that bolt and then they are placed here. And now we can see the bolt is here. And we can see bolt from here too. And now we do same thing on this last two bolts so it's here and then that so now we have this bolts here and we can save this And then we could create this this one component. So we have this isolation layer between this. So maybe we could create that now. So or we can just create it on this. So we can press air. And then we can use this project and we can select this like that and we can basically just so it will be here so it will also pop this And these holes are there because they are for bolts and so on. So we can, and let's say that's maybe two millimeters and it's new body. And we can add some color on this body too. So let's say it's this. And I will turn this sketch off. So here we have basically one battery assembly. And we can save this. And we will later modify this little bit more. But it can be there like that now. And then we can create new assembly here. So let's say, say this is full assembly. And we can, this can be the whole battery. So we can add all these here. So this battery combines three sets of these and then this BMS board. So we can add 
rest of this. Let's move it there. And then this. And we can use this joint tool. And sometimes <clears throat> this might happen. It's because we uh, we haven't make this battery rigid component. So we can do that now. So it works like we have to select all these. And then we have to select from here rigid group. And we make this. Now it's rigid. And there is this new on timeline. And if we save this and go back to this assembly, we can update this new component from here. And then it should go there. And okay, so this it didn't take that. Okay, so it's because that body we can go here and we can create this as component. So there is and now that's component. And now we can make this again and select all all these components. And now they should be all rigid. And we can go again back here. And now this should go there. Okay, so now it works. And now we can... This has some error. It's easiest just to make that joint again. So I will click from here and then there. Okay, so now there is no errors left. And then we can have this last one. That was wrong. There. And we can add it here. So here is the battery and then we also have this bolts from here to this last one. So we can create that bolt now. So we can measure this distance from here to this one. So it's 125, so it will be about 200 millimeters this bolt. And we can add it here now. Later we will add insert here too. But I will create that bolt now. So we can use this bolt, we just make new copy of it. And we copy it here and we can rename this. So it's 200 or it could be even yeah, 200 is okay. And we will open this. And then we can go here and we can change this to 200. And then let's see what happens. Did it create? So there is that thread too. And we can save this. And we can track this new bolt here. So all these bolts will be from here.
So here is the concept of this battery. And we can measure this length. So it's 221 millimeters. And then this width is 194. And then later we will add this PCB here too. I'm just gonna show how it would be, but it's not ready yet. But we can select from here and then it would be somewhere there. Something like this. But there is a lot to do for this BMS. I'm gonna delete it from now. And now we can save this.